I'd consider myself the world's foremost expert on tomfoolery. We do a lot of deep research on this channel into the subject of tomfoolery. We often find ourselves diving into the annals, which is spelled the same as annals, by the way, which is a fact that I have never quite gotten over since I learned it in school because the, you know, the meaning of the word is so different between the two, but that's a fact I'll leave off the one side. Don't Google it, kids. Um, but into the annals of history, see, you're never going to be able to not hear it again. You're, you're never, you're never going to be able to hear somebody reference the annals of history without being that five-year-old in the back going, <laughs> you know, like, get yourself together. You're a grown-ass man or woman or they, them. I honestly, I'm, I'm trying. I'm learning, right? I, I do my best. You're a person, damn it. Okay? Get it together. Annals of history. Fucking focus. All right? I wasn't nearly loud enough. You know I snap wrong? Look at that. I saw my mom snapping, and so I decided to try and impress her, and I spent like six months sitting in the back of the car trying to learn how to snap. And I was like, yo, mom, check this out. And I snapped, and she was like, you know you're doing it wrong, right? And I was like, what? Anyways, tomfoolery. Expert in it, obviously. Uh, we have some serious tomfoolery from Liverpool Bologna that we need to, we need to unpack because I feel like it's being misunderstood by people that don't fully understand the way a lot of this tomfoolery works. This happened in the Champions League, okay? And there was a lot of weird things happening in the Champions League today. Uh, we had Girona losing to Feyenoord, which is weirder than you'd think considering how good, sorry, Girona, I, I, my, my American Spanish uh, brain takes over with that one, but it is Girona basically French. Um, the, they lost to Feyenoord, which is a surprising result. John Duran struck and Aston Villa beat Bayern Munich. Lille, led by Canadian Jonathan David, speaking of the Western Hemisphere, beat Real Madrid 1-0. Liverpool managed to beat Bologna 2-0, which is fair because they were playing against a sandwich. But during their matchup with the Bologna sandwich, this happened. Uh, and this is Ibrahim Konate against a dude on Bologna named Buhema. I, I don't know. I don't know Bologna's players particularly well. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, they're 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 getting in a bit of a uh, they're getting into a bit of a, a jousting match here, right? The referee is right there. You can see at the start of this video, right, that the referee has come over to try and break these two guys up. He has told them to stop doing this, right? Like that is the, I, I want to be clear because people are watching these clips and they're saying there shouldn't, you know, they're saying what eventually ends up happening shouldn't have happened, right? But they're misunderstanding this whole situation. The referee is already over here. He's told them to knock it off because these two have been sitting over here playing tiddlywings for like five, like, you know, 10, 15 seconds already. And the referee, he's had enough. And Ibrahim Akanate is saying, well, what do you want me to do? This bohemian guy is just all over me. Right? He's trying to make his sandwich on the other side of me. He's trying to go right through me. Now, I believe Bologna is in the defensive situation right here. And Ibrahim Kanate begins to try and push B Buhama off of him again. And we continue on like this for a little bit. Kanate decides to try and go with the it's not me, bro. But obviously, this guy has decided to strike a very memeable face about the fact that he just got shoved. Mind you, all of this is happening after the referee has come over and told them to knock it off, right? Now that we get into this whole thing again, where, you know, Boom kind of gets a little bit in Kanate's bubble and he shoves him away again. Now Boom is obviously trying to antagonize Ibrahim Kanate. And Kanate's honestly playing along here, right? He, he's, he, 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 uh, that was, you know, there's going to be some more warranted shoves upcoming. That was not a very warranted shove. Now we get into this situation again. Boom gets close. No bodily contact, yet he probably would bump into him if Ibrahim Kanate wasn't shoving him so early. Kanate shoves him again. How many more times can we do this? Buhuma walks in towards Ibrahim Kanate, who then shoves him again, at which we, you know, which which point we get the 15th consecutive rip at. Right, but there, look, 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 time out, right? Because we're mid-shove here. They're both responsible for this. Buma knows exactly what he's doing. He's getting into Kanate's bubble to try and bother him. He's antagonizing him. He's trying to get Ibrahima Kanate to push him away, right? And why is Kanate doing this? He could just let Buma be the idiot and then just, if he just stayed like this, you know, 
he'd probably be able to get the referee's attention again and say, look, this guy's being a maniac. You already told us to come over here and do this once. This is ridiculous. Or you go like this and use the fact that Boom is coming this way to kind of swim move him and, you know, I don't, I don't mean to be like an American football coach, right? But get to the hole, right? Like you're trying to get towards the goal, which is obviously behind Boehma, right? And if he's leaning so hard this way, you can use that leverage to just get behind him, slide step, and you're through, right? You let me a little shove in the back for good measure, right? And Boehma's going to flop, but the referee already doesn't like either of these players involved in this situation, so he probably wouldn't call it. You'd probably be in the clear, but what do I know? I'm just a virtual manager. Anyways, we're back with the whole shoving thing. Ibrahim Kanate looks at the referee referee now as if to say okay i'll paint this picture for you boom is the little brother ibrahim akanate is the big brother the little brother is trying to get on the nerves of the big brother and the big brother is looking at the parent going what am i doing where all the parent sees is two you know gaggle fucks shoving each other and they you know doesn't necessarily want to deal with it anymore so ibrahim akanate looks at the referee and the referee shows up and gives a yellow card to both of them at which point both of the siblings involved in this conversation quite clearly cannot believe that a card has been given in this situation when to be perfectly honest the referee's already come over here and told you to knock it off at which point neither of you knocked it off should it be a yellow card i don't know in terms of the amount of violence and interaction, no. But in terms of the fact that they are delaying the game by just both acting like idiots, yeah. I mean, if, if, like, if, if the referee feels that they are delaying the game in this situation after he's already gone over to address this, I don't blame him for giving a yellow card here. This is basically the parent coming back and saying, look, if I'm going to come back here again, you're both getting yellow cards. And then they leave and he turns around from wherever he was. And that's when Ibrahim Akanate is looking up. He walks back over and goes, I friggin' told you. Gives them both yellow cards. Now you're going to get on with the damn game. You know? The referee could also just let this go. I mean, there's no reason necessarily for him to acknowledge this. This all depends on the types of conversations he's had with the players leading up to this, which we obviously don't hear and we don't know. But I would assume it was something like, don't make me come back here. And then he had to come back there because he felt that they were being a little too distracting in this game. I do love the universal shock going on between both of these guys. When, let's be honest, we just saw the tape here. They were both doing it. They were both doing it. Buma was moving towards him. Konate was shoving him away preemptively every single time. They were both getting under each other's skin. They were both annoying each other. They were both wasting time by just being idiots. Is this the only time this has ever happened on a set piece? No, this shit happens on set pieces all the time. But most of the time, the referee's not there to deal with it the first time anyways, which means something annoying and distracting and time-wasting was going on before, and the referee had to come back again and decides to hand out a yellow card. Now, shout out to this person who tweeted this out, said Kanate goes through the five stages of grief. So, in order to keep track of that, we have the five stages of grief. We have denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. So, first, we are going to look for denial, uh, and, you know, that's denial right there. That's definitely denial. Then we have anger. There's the anger. All right, now we've got the anger. Now we're going towards bargaining, where he tries to come back a little more calmly towards the referee to say, hey, you know, he was coming towards me. I have a right to defend myself. Then we have depression. <laughs> that didn't look like acceptance, bro. That does not look like acceptance. That does not look like acceptance at all. This tweet was a lie. It was a lie. But at the end of the day, the yellow card didn't end up mattering. So even though all of this tomfoolery was going on, and I actually kind of defend the, uh, the the referee giving the yellow card in this situation because they were both just being idiots and he already told them to stop once. Liverpool won the match, which means they are doing way better than these three teams. Shout out to the Champions League league stage not group stage for throwing us a giant curveball because Bayern Munich Barcelona and Real Madrid now only have one win and one loss in their first two matches which is exciting yeah and then as uh, this top commenter says Man United's in 13th better than Barcelona Bayern and Real Madrid correct I I don't see any way that we could possibly uh, argue with that but this this whole interaction between Bilma and Kanate yeah this is just, I mean, I mean, it is, it is somebody with a doctorate in tomfoolery. This is not an incorrect decision here. 
And, you know, even though you had to drag it out and listen to them, but you know, the fact that they were both complaining about it, right? But not, like, this makes me feel like it's right. I don't know if that makes any sense or if I'm just huffing the helium, you know, like fumes here, but oh, I love to breaking that down. I love breaking. I love nothing more than stupidity and tomfoolery on the field. 